Hi folks, welcome back to 999. We have three door options that we can go through. Um, yep. Basically they come down to, we could go with Ace and Clover to through door one. We could go with um, Santa and June through door two. And we could go with Lotus and Seven through door six. They're all good combos. Um, I kind of wanted to go with Santa and June because those are the two that we know probably the least about right now. It's true. Um, we don't know much about Ace, but we do know some about Clover. Yes. Yeah. And I would be interested to follow up with Clover to see how she's doing right now because it can't, it really can't be good. Um, but I, like I said, we really don't know anything about these other two. So I, that feels like the most logical choice. Um, okay. Shall we do that? I shall pick it. Okay. My choice is door two. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? What? What do you mean? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. Did we even, uh, so for real? Uh, yes, is the answer, Santa. That is in fact what we did. <laughs> Wait, do we even know what we wrote down? We didn't write anything down. Oh yeah, we didn't even put a note in nah. there. We just listened to what everyone Junpei's else did. Junpei's master plan is he allowed himself to choose. Dummy! Oh my god! Not dummy, he controlled it. Yeah, that's, that's true. the most powerful play you could make. That's actually true. Yeah, whoa. Interesting. Hey, what the fuck? That's weird. Um, okay. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. I got three pieces of paper ready. <laughs> I see you. And I put the one with door six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. When did you do the switcheroo? Well, what does it say? When he was reading through them. Oh, I see. Junpei is a little more clever than- Damn, Junpei! Yeah, he, he, ha he makes choices. <laughs> Damn, Junpei! And we had no say in well, that. That we was entirely Junpei's call. We had no idea that was going to happen. Only we, the player, got to say in this door. Um, yeah, without... so we could control what he wanted, but not what he did, which is kind of interesting. Wow, so yeah. if we had said, if we had said six. He just wouldn't have swapped out the number. He wouldn't have swapped out the number. Would he have said that? I, actually, Santa probably- I'm gonna say would've... Santa would probably have called him yeah, regardless. Yeah, because, because it is a, it was his plan and he did draw last and it is yep. sneaky. And also in this case, we're going with June which is suspect considering I guess how, so. we've, how we've yeah. expressed that like we have an attachment to June, so. That's true, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess. <laughs> you got lucky. All right, so we know who's going through door two. It'll be me, Lotus, and Junpei. Oh, wait. Wait. What? Oh, they must've been two. We should've done addition. Did we not add it up right? This is okay, we can go back. Oh, did you just save? Yes. Okay. Whoopsie! Um, uh, did not save return yep. this title screen. We're gonna go yes. reset. <laughs> Whoopsie! It's fine, these things happen. We should have done our math. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. We should have done basic okay. fucking addition. The last one is mine. I want to go through. Okay. Okay, so six would be, wait, just to confirm. That would be do we mess, do we six, reverse? seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Five, no, Wait. 14. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 14, which is five. How can we do We can't that? do five. Wait, what? Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, was, we wanted to go with, let's see. Santa. Well then maybe they, we have to mix the numbers around. Maybe two is the only one that works. Wait a what? sec, because four, five, ten, one. No, that one works. This is the only one that doesn't work, I think. Door six doesn't work. Right? Because you'd have to have 15. Which we can't do. Let's see. Um, well, well, who are the, uh, let's see. Who was, who was branching June, off? June, Santa, and yeah, because that'd be 14. That'd be 14. But, but we'd have to rejigger regardless. I think they want they wanted door six. So I'm they gonna go ahead and pick it. Right okay. Ahead. I want to go through door six. That's a problem. Yeah. None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. 
the digital roots don't match up either. We've got similar problems. Yeah, so six was... Sorry. Six is not an option we can pick. Yeah, two was an option, and it okay. actually is the only one where all the numbers work out. Oh, I see. I think. So we have to pick door two. Because you were, cause well, we were no, thinking they, before they'll, that... they'll reshuffle. Basically, Junpei's plan doesn't work in this case. I see. But because six is the number he actually put in, it's not. It's no longer a plan. Right. Yeah. So no, in answer to your question, no, he would not have been called on it. it yeah, he's like. not yeah. getting called on it. Yeah, that's... He's getting called on it in a different way. Yeah. Um, June, Junpei, and I want to go through door six, but our digital route is fine. Yeah. If we're gonna open that door, we need, we need a one. Damn, what are we gonna do now? What are we going to do? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> do it over? Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one with me? Okay. <sighs> what about me? You come with us. We get all three of the people we haven't talked to. Well, that would be perfect. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? You mean I should join Santa's team? Yeah. Yes. Huh. I understand. I'll go through door six then. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door and no one will be left behind. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Mm -hmm. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. So okay. this is interesting because taking a step back and looking at this from a meta perspective. Yes. Of the three options, this is the only one we can do honestly. Oh, the that's other true. two are both, can only happen if Junpei is being manipulative and sneaky. That is true. Yeah, same with door door one. Yeah, because it, yeah. because we know he put six in. Yes. So, so either two or one would only be accomplished because you cheated. This is fascinating too because, like, oh shit! I just like that was so weird. I just lost my train of thought. It just like left my brain. Well, from um, my perspective, it's interesting because Junpei has put the player in a really tricky position, right? Where he has forced us to be part of his weird manipulative plan. Oh yeah, and yeah. I, I remember what I was gonna say. When we go this route. You have no idea that Junpei that is being manipulative. Yeah. yeah, like not at all. It's not even brought up to the player. So it's kind of, I'm almost glad that we accidentally chose the other one and reverted because we get a lot more information. Yeah, yeah. We know that now we know that Junpei is sort of operating on his own outside of us yeah. as well, um, which is kind of spooky. It is. Um, he let us, I mean, he let us. We made the call. Right. But, but he made the scenario. Exactly. Yeah. Whoa. So very interesting. Whoa. And that. Woo. But hey, we get almost like we get the perfect situation <laughs> if we go this route, which is that we get to hang out with um, Santa, June, and Ace, the three people we don't know at all. That's really true. So I st as this continues, and we have us as a player has this relationship with Junpei, who's interacting with the world, I still keep thinking back to our conversation with Lotus about mm -hmm. ha like having a, like a main body controller outside of your brain. And that's kind of what we are. Well, I like, mean, with any video game, the question is, who is the player? What is the player's relationship to what's going on? Yes. Are they the protagonist? Are they the protagonist's conscience? Or are they something in canon? Like there's, yeah. it's always interesting. Yeah, yeah. Or is the protagonist the player in that, like, they cre the player creates them and they're an empty shell. Right, um, right. Obviously, Junpei is not an empty shell. Right. So. We're we're driving him, but not really? Not really. He, yeah. He made this call on his own, so. And, and, ah, weird. It's interesting. Yeah, and we kind of get to see little glimpses of, like, the paths in his head and get, say, that one. And, but, but he's already, he's already set that up in, mm -hmm. with his own train of thought. Um. This is so interesting. Well, and the disconnect is even enforced more in the novel version um, in that under normal circumstances, when you have a, a video game and there's narration, their narration is from the perspective of the protagonist. Mm -hmm. But this isn't. It's yeah. always Junpei says, Junpei thought, Junpei, yep. like it's in his head enough to know what Junpei's thinking, but not, but it is still third person. Yes. So there's a lot in this game that's enforcing that like slight, discomforting disconnects between you and Junpei. Yes. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's continue. Me either. All right, then. We're good to go. Okay. See you later. Bye, Clover. All right. 
Wait, Clover, don't move on your own. Oh, I'll be going too then. <laughs> Oh, yeah. my group's going. Be Time careful. to go. Yeah. See you, Lo uh, Lotus. All right, see you guys. We should get going yes, as well. Yes, we should. Sounds good, Ace. So we're going to have to, we're going to go to these doors, and then we're going to eventually, I guess, come back, and because we're going to have to go through the door, like through this door one. This is E-Deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Probably. Or at least assuming. There should be a door at the end of the assuming hall. Assuming that, that going through door one has a puzzle we need to solve with a piece that we need to get up to door nine. Yeah. Yeah. That's the assumption. So... We need to get... All right, let's well, go. Ultimately, we need to go through all of the numbered doors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There it is. You guys ready? Yep. Yeah. And let's get to it. And I do like that we have all the people we don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that worked out really well. <laughs> but hey, that means we we literally spent hey, time... I found it! It's right there! every character. Yeah. Other than the ninth man. That's true. Yeah, that's that's actually interesting. that's really good. Yeah, I feel like that feels. I feel very accomplished in doing that. Yeah, well, because, especially because it's not a given. Yeah, you've had a lot of opportunities to not have God. that happen. Very true. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> it okay. stopped. Yes, it stopped. Right, no bombs today. Well, Ooh, right now. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal. Yeah, thing. right. You got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. Don't blame you. <laughs> I agree. All right, let's go. Okay. What are we dealing with now? A door. This door looks heavy. But it's not locked. I'm opening it's it. It's got a lock, but it's not locked. It's That's true. interesting. Yeah. And it's like a big, like, oh, are we going down the boil room? Whoa, what the hell is this? This has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty high, too. Huh. Could be two stories. Maybe even more. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the wow. ship. What's that huge Kamaboko-looking building in the middle? Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. I see stairs, so we may as well head over okay. to them. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. You're right. Single file line? Mm hmm Yeah. Whoa. You can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Let's check out the other side, too. Yeah, we've definitely... This looks to be the steam engine room. Yeah, steam room. engine room, yeah. Okay. The steam engine room? Yes. That thing that looks like a cross-section of a mushroom is the boiler. Do you see the three round doors near the bottom? Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. The same thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. Mm. All right, let's so split up. So this ship is not running on the steam engines. Looks like it. Hey, oh. What's, oh, what's wrong? What's going on? Are you all right? Hey, June. Jumpy. You, oh, you're, you're really warm. She's feverish again. Yeah. Okay. Is your fever coming back? Yes, yes, it probably is. I'm fine. Please, don't worry about me. I just need to rest. And I'll be fine. Okay, okay. Uh, here, sit down. Uh, careful. Thank you. Mm, we don't know what's going on with her either. Ace, Santa. Yeah. But it's been there since the beginning. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's frankly the reason why Junpei has interpreted June as hating gore and stuff is because that first time she like got really feverish. Yeah. But it seems like it's just a general thing. It's just something that's been happening, yeah. yeah. Yes. Right. All right. Let's get started. Hang in there, June. I'm going to get you out of here real soon. All right. June's out of here commission for this for the most part. But yep. we've got two other people. That's we can true. Do this. What are we looking? I guess we're looking for a key? Yeah, we're a, a door. A door, yeah. <laughs> Seek a way out, we gotta get out. We are looking for something. Yeah, <laughs> let's go I'm look. sure there will be a puzzle that will somehow point us in the right direction. Woo, let's go look for things. All right. <laughs> what's this? Okay, what's that thing? Oh, we. all right, we got more voices here. Um, Who do you want to be? Um, I can be Ace if you want, if you want to be Santa. Or do you want to do it the other way around? I should probably be Ace 
in that Santa's voice would probably sound a lot like the Junpei voice I chose. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. I can do I can do your Junpei voice for Santa. Go for it. And <laughs> you can do uh, your your low man voice for Ace. <laughs> she was famous low man voice. Uh, you know, I hit on it pretty much every game that we play. Um, you sure do. <laughs> I'd say that this is probably uh, here to move coal from place to place. It probably comes from over there. And then the belt carries it down the tunnel and out there. Yeah, just do, uh, you're just doing, um, Regal's voice. Pretty much, but yeah. a little, a little gruffer and a little softer. We'll see. We'll see uh. how it goes. <laughs> um, so if the conveyor belt is moving, yes, the coal should almost certainly come out here. Okay, okay. so that's where the so coal comes out. Little, little Check dude. that thing. A tunnel. It goes all the way across the ship. Okay. Okay. Cool. We got some wheels. All right. Check that wheel. It's a wheel. <laughs> a wheel. It's a baby wheel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this gear is rusty, but it looks like it's still pretty sturdy. Check it and out, what's Jay. that? <laughs> a golden gear. It does look like it's always golden like this. It, it doesn't look like I don't fucking know what that what line was. That was? Line? I don't know. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's gone already. I can't look back. <laughs> well, then I imagine it's uh, prepared especially for this game. Oh, like so it wasn't always gold. Yeah, it's it showing it's painted. a clue of some sort. Yeah. yeah. It looks like there's a door over here in the tunnel. The belt over there must deliver coal, which is picked up and thrown into this door. The door appears to be welded shut, however. Okay. Okay. This is another thing. All there's right. Another and wheel. Another one. Huge bronze gear. Uh, oh, the other one. This has gold. to be important. Yeah. Now Gears that rusty, sturdy. This is also welded shut. Okay. Okay. Now that there's a distinction between and this is silver, so we've got one. gold, bronze. Silver. Silver. Okay. There we go. Um, Silver gear. Oh, I'm just now noticing the blips are different. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how the whole DS game was, is everyone has different blips. Ah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, I really, really like that. Okay, so I'm gonna be Santa. Uh, do you think it's made of pure silver? No way. Silver's way too soft to use for a gear. There's gotta be steel or iron gear that's been coated with silver. Ugh. Shouldn't have called it a silver gear then. Shouldn't have got your hopes up. Were you thinking you'd haul this thing back? Nah, but I think Seven could probably carry it, don't you? All right. <laughs> okay, Santa. <laughs> Bunch of wooden boxes. I already looked through the. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I already looked through those. There's nothing there. Okay. I'm sort of just giving him my voice. <laughs> you, but, you did. Yeah. <laughs> that was a gold. Just reading it a certain way. And this thing is huge. I guess a ship uh, this big needs something like this to power it. True, but I doubt a single boiler of this size could actually move a ship like this at any reasonable speed. You'd need at least three, no, four of these. Huh? I guess you know a lot about boats, huh? Well, not really. It's just common sense, you know? Mm, yeah, um, all right, yeah. Um, all right. It's the same thing. Uh, another... Is that the same bronze gear? Oh, we're looking at it from the other direction. Uh, Is that what we're doing? Wait, what? Wait. Are there two? What? How are we Looks turning like around Looks like there might here? be two. Two. Okay. So, okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go yeah. up. What is that thing? What's this? Ah, alrighty. The slider is down. Well, let's see if we can get this thing to go anywhere. Ugh, man, no dice. This thing isn't going anywhere. Um, Release. what about that? These two columns are different than the others. The lights are red. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you move that one? Yeah. The three sliders are down, uh, on the left are down, but this one's up. There are a number of lines engraved on these. I suspect we're meant to do something rather specific with them. Okay. Uh, Junpei, why don't you move the slider down? Well, there's no harm in trying, I suppose. Okay. Okay. Nothing. Hmm. Also, that one was like, uh, had a little, like, box around it, yeah. too. That's kind of interesting. Nothing happened. Maybe it needs to be prepared somehow. You're saying if we did something somewhere else, um, if we did something somewhere else, it'd respond somehow? Yes, I suppose that's one way of putting it. Okay. okay. Um, so we need to go do something. We're going up here. All something right, what's this? Else. Hey! 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 <laughs> It's one of the furnace doors. Uh, there's an A on it. A. There's a circular wheel in the center of the door. Another wheel, Jay! <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> All right, let's give the sucker a twist. 
It opened. Uh, Cole? Is that? Um... Well, it's noisy, but it opens. And it's totally pitch black in there. We should, uh, go in here? All right. Let's go. Ooh, in we go! This feels weird! This looks just like the door we went into. Wait, what the fuck? Uh, where are we? We're on the other side of the mushroom! Oh, I see, I see, I see. We must be on the other side, yes. Yeah. Which would put us directly above the conveyor belt. At any rate, we should keep moving. There's a great deal we've yet to investigate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, there's C. C. Uh, yeah, that just opens. Oh. Oh. Ooh, what's oh. that thing? Oh. oh, goodness. Uh, it looks like a hand-operated winch. Wince? Winch? I don't know. Okay, whatever. I think it's a winch. Winch. Okay, that's what I thought. But uh, not like a winch. But not like, like a... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gina. <laughs> but it doesn't look like there's any way to uh, operate it. That means the wheel isn't attached. Okay. So we gotta find a wheel! We gotta find another <laughs> wheel! <laughs> I said I would stop! <laughs> uh, what's happening? Uh, there's a wooden box at the end of a rope hanging from the winch. Okay. It looks like there's something in the box, but we can't get to the box until we get the wheel on the winch. Okay. Yes. And then there's this pile of boxes blocking the way. Okay. All right. Back uh, across sea we go. Can you go? Oh, I guess you can't go across. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so that was over on our original side. We yes. are still currently on the opposite side. Yes. Let's go right down now. the stairs. Okay. The catwalk. Oh, down? Well, maybe we can't go down the stairs. No. Stage. What uh, is what's that thing? Well, anyway, looks like, uh, looks like that's the pipe. Looks like the bottom connects to the conveyor belt housing. Then coal must come out of the pipe onto the conveyor belt. In other words, there must be a great deal of coal in that pipe. Oh, okay. All right, All boxes right. blocking the way. Um, there are a number of boxes on the catwalk. I don't think we can go over there. Nope, okay. Okay. Uh, back across B. Back through B? Did we come across B or A? No, we came across A. Okay, that's what I thought. We're going, um, there's another winch! Another thing, another winch for the wheel! All right, let's give the wheel a spin! Spin it! What? That's weird. I don't feel any resistance. Gah! Ah, shit! Ah, uh, what happened? Oh, we got the wheel! Go put it on the thing! Good job, genius. You broke it. Shut up, I am a genius. <laughs> I didn't break it. It broke all by itself, because it's a part of the puzzle, you yeah. dumbass! Come on, uh, Santa! <laughs> get with the program! <laughs> <laughs> so far, he's, um... He's still like the same character that we have like. It's quite seen possible so far. that's just who he is. Yes, <laughs> I've got I've got news. Yep. <laughs> a hand operated winch. Um, there's no wheel to turn. Oh yeah, I have a wheel. Oh, uh, let's put that on there. <laughs> let's see if it fits. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. It's a perfect fit. Like they were made for each other. Yeah. Oh. Not shaky at all. Good. I should be able to turn this now. Good work, Junpei. We should be able to haul that off the uh, haul up the wooden box now. You see the wooden box? It's under the catwalk. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes, oh my we god. can see it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Dad. Dad, <laughs> just let us solve the puzzle. God, Dad. <laughs> it's hanging from the rope in the winch. Looks like it's some device in the box. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, I'll, 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 be, I'll behave. I'll behave. <laughs> At any rate, you might as well turn the wheel now. I'm counting on you. Oh <laughs> my is god, Dad. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll turn the wheel. Oh, huh, what's this? What happened? This wheel only turns to the left. It only turns to the left? That means we can't reel that- That means we can't reel up that rope. But we can wheel it down. Yeah. We can only let the rope down. And we can go downstairs. Yeah, interesting. I don't think that is- will be a problem. We'll simply need to go downstairs. <laughs> I will be counting on you, Junpei. Oh my god, Ace. <laughs> Ace, have you been like this the whole time? Yeah, right? <laughs> have ever all the other teams with you been like, oh my god. You can do this. I am counting I on you. I believe in you. I have faith in you. Uh, sure thing. No sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this group. <laughs> it's an awkward one. It, it is a very awkward one. the box oh. has reached the floor. Oh. Yeah. Okay. June's down over by there. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not gonna just get better right away, you know? It'll take time. What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Nah, it's gotta be exhaustion. She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed-up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? 
So you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. How the hell could you call that normal? That's a we're fair point. We're just guinea pigs. A guinea pig? You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? And we did mention that before, that it's like, this could possibly be a psychological experiment. Yeah. Um, you know, speaking of experiments, mm -hmm. there was this experiment some scientists did with rats. Yeah, yeah, it's learning time with our party members. Yeah, this is my favorite perfect. part of every puzzle. Yeah, when the party members are like, "Let me tell you about a really cool thing." I Let know me about. interrupt the puzzle for a moment to tell you about a thing. Yeah, all yeah. joking aside, it is my favorite part of every puzzle. It's actually really great. Yeah, because it breaks it up. Because otherwise, the puzzles would get real yeah. boring. Like, They're the like let's rooms. take a moment to talk about the <laughs> moral and ethical repercussions of what we're yep, doing here. Something relevant and important. Yeah. Um, okay. First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. I also like... Exit A is pitch black. So dark, even a rat can't see anything. I also like how this game is teaching you about, like, psychology and, psych, and psych experiments mm -hmm. and, and, like, um, like, psych disorders and everything. They're well, like, hey, we're gonna talk. We're gonna teach you some psych here. Like well, it was it's fun so good. I, like I first played this game while I was in the middle of completing a cognitive psychology major. That's right. Um, yeah. So I was just like, I love this game. Yeah, it that's makes true. Me very happy. It was a yeah. perfect time in your life to be playing. Exactly. This game. I was like, like, this was made for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't play this game in college either, because I was taking a bunch of like psych and mm -hmm. like neuro and neuropsych and neurobiology classes and. I like I would have been like eating this shit up too. Mm -hmm. I still am now, but anyway, I just really like that it takes little breaks to tell teach you about, about psychology. I completely <laughs> agree. It, especially when it's a psychological thriller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyway. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. So dark exit or electrified exit. Yep. So, what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Which exit would the rat choose? B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified, which means the rat can't get out that way. So, after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. Hmm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. <laughs> it's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. <laughs> hmm? See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over, using hundreds of different rats over several generations. This produced some surprising results. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. Weird. But that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. The rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. These rats weren't related to the others, and had never even come in contact with them. And yet, they all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. What did it mean? Are you suggesting something like telepathy? They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium? <laughs> How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do Is that. Is that a real experiment? But I do know yeah. that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Hmm. hmm. I would say with most things in this game, you can assume there's a kernel of truth in it. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I don't want to go looking they, stuff up right now because yeah, I don't want to break it, the immersion. It's, it, they're usually not true true, but there's always a kernel of truth in them yeah. because it wouldn't work otherwise. Right, exactly. Huh. Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. And we got to get the hell out of here before June passes out. True. See, that would suggest to me hey, that wait. the original there's testing... There's something I want to ask you. Uh, ...environment was flawed on, in some way. Um, uh, for the experiment? Yeah. Yeah. Because if the second testing environment, everyone was a lot quicker, there's got to be something different about the environment rather exactly. than something about the 
the rats. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. Um, but, you know, with, yeah. with having no more information, I guess telepathy is also not. <laughs> Quite a One. conclusion. <laughs> yeah, admittedly, that wasn't Santa's conclusion. That no. was Ace's conclusion. That was Ace's conclusion. Which Santa begs was... the question, why was Santa telling the story? Yeah. What was he trying to convey? Exactly. Yeah, that... Hmm. Yeah, what was the point of that? Um, why did they use that tank for the experiment? Hmm. Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. They could have just used a dry box, you know? If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have... I don't know. Put some bait by exit B or, or something. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. You ever think about that? Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. And to emerge means to sort of come out, or appear, or rise out of something else. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. Inspiration? Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. I see. Emerge. It's a different experiment if it's a food-motivated food thing rather yeah. than uh, a rat is trying to get out of water because it, it could drown. Yeah. yeah, I see. Yeah. That desperation is sort of part of it. Yes. I guess maybe that was oh. his point in telling us that story. Fair enough. Yeah. So it wasn't necessarily how the rats were learning. It was about the fact that they were learning in that environment. Yes. And that with each each go, they learned faster and faster. Yeah. yeah. Although that still doesn't quite explain the separate, the second testing environment and how those rats were able to do that faster. Yeah. No, it except definitely that, doesn't. Except that maybe that testing environment was flawed in some way, like you suggested. Yeah. Um, Okay, wow, that's really fascinating. Um, but we've got this um, box that we brought down here. There it here. is, yeah. Um, do we want to inspect this next time? I think so. And continue with our boiler room puzzle? Sounds good to me. Awesome. All right, see you folks. <laughs>